Hey everyone. Um, first, I would like to thank Henry for preparing his C1 speech in such a short period of time because uh, it makes both of us nervous. Okay, um, I, pre uh, I pretty appreciate the way you use images on the screen instead of lots of words on the screen because images are more likely to um, how to say to touch uh, touch people's hearts because they can tell lots of stories than words can do. Um, so you say that you're a crazy person. I know that. But um, <laughs> the audience don't. Maybe you can tell them some stories like you lie, lie down on the roads at midnight or get drunk in a bar. Something like that. And you say that you like swimming and we all know that you're good at swimming because you have a nice body shape. <laughs> uh, I have to say that I didn't see him naked. <laughs> I see him from his um, tight clothes. So you can tell us how you feel when you encounter the bottleneck, how you overcome it, and maybe by using some ways like Richard did, say, becoming an infant to forget the pain, uh, forget to suffer, but just taking the pain and grow. Um, and I think you spent a little bit too much time on introducing poker, poker stars. <laughs> I, I don't know how many people here really playing this game, but yeah, it's pretty fun, but maybe the audience want to hear some other stories. You have been to many places like USA, Egypt, Singapore, Japan, Australia, something like that. I think a better way for you to construct your speech is you can make your speech like a National Geography channel. You can introduce every country you have been to, the weirdest food you have eaten, the strangest culture you have met, or some some incidents you have met abroad, so that people may get into your speech more deeply. In conclusion, I think um, the C1 speech is to pick up the most interesting story or the most um, rewarding story you want to tell people <coughs> to share with them and share your life experience and inspire them during their lifetime. Uh, and some two, two little point to concern is that you have to uh, make more eye contact with all the audience and stand on the stand in the middle of the podium so that everyone can see you. Okay, back to G E.